Good morning. Welcome to Lighthouse Full Gospel Church. Uh, we're going to continue our study on the 106 genders that man says it is. And as we go along, you know, it, it's going to take two or three, four times to get through this. Uh, we done 15 the last time. We're going to do 15 today. And uh, next week, I will try to do 30 or 40 more. But as we go along, they're going to get more weird. And uh, that's, that's just that's the way that we've let the world... We have, as parents and grandparents, have let the world. Do we know what our kids and our grandkids are being taught in school? We better find out because there's some bad stuff going on in school that the teachers are teaching our children. We better find out. Are you okay with that? Are you okay with 106 genders? Ask yourself that question. Are we going to remain silent? Or are we going to stand up? And are we going to stop it? You know, I'm not going to preach because uh, I'm sitting down and uh, I'm just I'm just going to read off these genders till we get done, till we get to 106. And then we'll see what happens from there. But number 16... It's called cis gender, C I S gender. It's a person whose sex was assigned male at birth and identifies as a boy or a man. Or someone whose sex was assigned female at birth identifies as a girl or a woman. Number 17. It's called C I S female. Describes a person gender identity corresponds to the sex they were assigned at birth. 18. CIS male. What you are assigned with at birth. 19. CIS man. What you are assigned with at birth. 20. CIS woman, what you are signed with at birth. 21. Demi Bowie. Demi is a gender neutral name of French origin, meaning half or small. 22. Demiflux is a demigender gender identity in which part of one's gender is static. The static part could be any or gender or combination of genders. Demigender. 23 is an umbrella term for all gender identities that have a partial connection to a certain gender and a partial connection to another gender. 24. Demi girl is a person who feels their gender identity partially identifies with a feminine identity, but is not wholly binary. 
regardless of their assigned gender. Demi Guy, 25. Someone who was assigned male at birth but does not fully identify with being a man, socially or mentally. 26. Demi Man is a gender identity in which one's gender is partially male and partially another gender. 27. Dual gender is a term used to describe someone with competing gender traits. Normally, someone that is dual gendered has two different gender traits or people inside then that will sometimes conflict resulting in D-Y-S-P-H-O-R-A. 28. Demi Woman, a gender identity term for someone who was assigned female at birth but does not fully identify with being a woman socially or mentally. 29. Androsex means that a person has innate physical sex characteristics that match what is expected for female and male bodies. Innate means that the person is born with these characteristics including chromosomes, hormones, genitals, and other anatomy. 30. Eunuch, a male who has been castrated. And like I say, next week we'll try to go through, we've done 30. We'll try to do about 40 or 50 more next week and get through this in, in three or four, four weeks and then go on to something else. But any Christian person, whether you have children or not, Are you okay with 106 genders that the world's man says there's 106 genders? The Bible don't say that. Which one are you going with? Are you, ask yourself that question, are you okay with that? Are you okay with knowing that your children and your grandchildren are being taught this junk? Are you going to remain silent? What are you going to tell God when the time comes? Ask yourself that question. Are you okay with this? I know this has been short. And, uh, you know, we've already done church today. And I'm tired. But, I wanted to record this message and get 15 more out, which is 30 genders. And after about 10 more, it gets weird. 
it gets strange. So ask, you know, ask yourself this question. Are you okay with this? Look at your children. Look at your grandchildren. Are you okay with what the schools are teaching? Ask yourself that question. Until next week, this has been Pastor Dwayne. God bless you.